So I just want to do a short video here on how to figure out the angle of this um, spot here. So there's two two angles. You got this flat area and then this one that's about a 40 degree angle or so. I think it's less than that, probably 39 degrees. So what you do is you take yourself a board, any thickness, any width you want, two inches, three inches, inch and a half, whatever. So you lay it, lay your line, lay your molding on, or uh, your board on there. Could be a molding too. Draw yourself a line, and then draw a line to angle this this angle here. Try to intersect that spot right there, and then you take your stud, your uh, T bevel or angle finder. I think they call it a T bevel. And you want to do the bisecting angle. So right here's your bisecting angle right here. And you want to line up your line up this corner here with your bisecting angle, which is a little less than that. Right there. So that's some hypothetical angle. Don't really know what that is. And then we're gonna go cut this molding and I'll show you how, you how it goes on there. So now we're in the garage. I'm gonna cut this uh, molding and what you wanna do is you lay your, lay your angle finder or T-bevel on this angle, which is going to be roughly like that. So you can transfer it to the back side transfer this line around to the back side. Oops, there goes my phone. Sorry about that. So transfer this line down to the bottom and then we're going to this angle here it's basically the same angle it's going to be on the back side. It's hard to draw on a profiled surface so we're just going to strike a line there and then as we're doing that we're gonna mark the other side because so that's gonna be the other angle when you'll see this come together you'll see I'm gonna put this on pause again so another thing I did here is you lay your Lay your uh, angle finder T bevel right onto the uh, miter saw. Line it up with the the aluminum slot right there, or the and that's going to be your angle right there. So here's my two angles right here. Um, end up being like twenty one and a quarter degrees. Twenty one and a quarter degrees. So yeah, you lay your boards right in there and those two angles should line up perfectly which you can see it's perfect well there's nothing perfect out there but you get the idea so that's how you do a bisecting angle between the two so hopefully this helps out people here don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel um also want to show you all what I'm doing here on the stairway here. It's a stairway for a guy in Troy, Michigan I'm working on. Um, very, uh, very great uh, person. Um, works a tool and die. So he's finicky, picky, if you want to call him that. Um, but great guy. You see right here, it's turning out really nice. It's a rosewood stain, and I'm also doing that stair, that uh, kitchen, the kitchen area too. And I put the hardwood floor down here. It's laid on some um, some of this plywood um, that has uh, like a uh, plastic uh, matting underneath it. You can't see it, but you get the idea.
So I got three doors I'm gonna install. I've already installed most of these cabinets. They're all turning out really nice. And uh, hopefully we got one more day here and then it should be all wrapped up. So, all right. Have a good day, everybody.